Tonight, a local mother wants answers after her son's blood was drawn at school without her permission or even knowledge. This happened earlier this week at MacArthur High School, and several students were involved. She spoke to our RJ Marquez and tells us that she wants Northeast ISD to make sure this never happens again. Liz Hernandez got home from work late Tuesday and found something strange in her fridge. And I opened the fridge the next day to find the vial in the refrigerator. Now, apparently they have a plebotomy class. I didn't even know that was a thing in high school. Liz's son Lorenzo is a sophomore at MacArthur High School. He told her that some seniors asked students on Tuesday to volunteer to give blood. There was people standing in line outside of the classroom, about nine or ten people, and they each went in one at a time having their blood drawn. And the district tells us that the students conducting those blood draws were in a health science clinicals class and that there were about 20 students that had their blood drawn without permission. The district is investigating and has not taken any disciplinary action against anyone involved. Liz tells us that she wants to see the district and the high school take responsibility and be accountable for what happened. I'm shocked and I'm very appalled because like I said, I've never heard of a case like this. The principal contacted parents on Thursday confirming the phlebotomy students were, quote, doing this unsupervised. An NEISD spokesperson said equipment like needles or syringes were prepackaged and never left the classroom. They added a teacher was going between two health classes, leaving one not fully supervised. Hernandez says it's all unsettling because of the safety and health concerns. We don't see where these needles came from. We don't see if they've been sterilized. We can't see if it's a, a new needle. Like, we have to trust and put our faith in these people. RJ Marquez, KSAT 12 News.